I actually used to do a lot of sailing when I was younger um, and all the boats I've been on, all the sail boats I've been on have been much smaller uh, so that's that's how I will always remember it. It's big, it's it's pretty and it's it's very very comfortable. When we first arrived in Kotong, it's a real Burmese port, it's real Burmese people and it's bustling, it's chaotic, it's noisy and hot and but that's all part of the trip. That's what you come to see. You come to see the real Myanmar and that is what you see in Koton. I think the Murgi Islands is probably the last place in Asia where you can feel like you're still an explorer you have this very rare opportunity to come and see what most people have never seen. And I think that in itself is, is special. It's not just a holiday, it's, it's feeling a sense of discovery. You're an explorer. I've sailed before, but never on a boat this big. I didn't know how it worked. I was very curious to see how it worked. And, and then the whole boat tilted and, uh, and then the engine quieted down. It was peaceful. It was a much more natural way to ride the waves. Being on the water, away from just you know, all this noise just kind of uh, goes away. And during those f first few hours, I think was without even having had to land on an island or do, you know, interact with, do any of the excursions that we've done, I, it was, I was immediately saying that it's already worth it. It's very, very unique. Seeing so many islands while you're drifting around all by yourself in the middle of the ocean. The crew, the captain, they're, they're very good, very capable. They, I think they give you an impression from the very beginning that they know what they're doing. It's really cool. The highlight of the trip for me was definitely when we visited the Mokum village. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. See how these people live and it's a whole community of people living out in the middle of these 800 islands in Myanmar. You'd have no idea that they were even there, yet they live a full life. There was a whole welcoming committee and all the children had come out to see the boat and they were all standing at the shore waving and it was such a lovely sight. I think everyone really enjoyed that experience. The highlight moment for me was probably the, the uh, beach that we went to. It just felt really sort of the kind of beach that you read about in magazines or see on television that no one had ever probably been to. It was one of these like real sort of fantasy white sand beaches. The sand was really fine and like snow or something. No one was there. We had a barbecue on the beach. That was, that was really cool, that was special. Another highlight was basically every time I jumped in the water because I like the water a lot and there's plenty of it. And I free dive and I snorkel and just every time we stop, we jump in the water. I knew that for almost a week there'd be nothing else than just being on the boat, enjoying the time here. There's no internet, there's no cell phone reception. Just leave your worries behind and make the most out of it.